Hey, uh, following on from our previous video, which we did uh, the best four bay NAS, we're doing the best eight bay NAS this time. So for those of you looking for something uh, with a little more capability, a little more power, a little more storage, um, we've got you covered here with our eight bay options. Uh, so the first NAS we're going to cover today is the TS-855X. Um, so front and center of this one is the high performance eight core uh, CPU that's in there and um, it's got 10 gig uh, built straight into it so if you've got 10 gig networking this has it already inside um, so absolutely very capable unit for virtualization applications things like that we'll move straight into the specs um, so here it's got the Intel uh, Atom 8 core 2.8 gigahertz processor so very powerful um, it comes with 8 gig of RAM from us but it does have capabilities to go up to 128 gig maximum um, and all of that 128 gig can be ECC, so if you do need ECC RAM support, we've got you covered here with this one. It's got two M.2 PCIe Gen 3 NVMe slots, so you can put some SSDs in there if you wanted something uh, that needed really fast storage. You've got the, uh, the dedicated bays internally for that. Um, it does have a single 10 gig as well as two 2.5 gig LAN ports. Um, all of these will step down to either be... Um, three 2.5 gigs or you can have three 1 gigs if you wanted as well so they are uh, multi gigabit uh, ports so you can um, work with different network switches that you may have it's got two uh, gen 3 by 4 slots so if you were looking for PCIe cards to go in there we've got lots of different options um, faster networking adding more SSDs things like that um, and it does um, work with both uh, QUTS uh, Hero as well as QTS on this NAS so you've got the flexibility of the different operating systems um, you can probably tell by the front of this NAS that the eight bays are split up into six three and a half inch bays as well as two two and a half inch dedicated SSD bays um, power consumption for this NAS is 86 watts with uh, all the drive bays fully populated uh, so use cases, this would be our SMB uh, high-end range. So obviously with a, with an 8-core processor in there and support for 128 gig of RAM, it's up there in the uh, the target customer. Um, it does have both uh, HDD and SSD dedicated bays as well as the M.2. So um, although we call it an 8-bay, it's effectively like a 10-bay with the two extra M.2 SSD slots. Um, you've got options with those PCIe slots all the way up to 25 gig networking as well. So if you wanted something with a lot of power, a lot of speed, you've got the options here. Um, and you can also back up everything in your network centrally to it. Um, performance, uh, we've tested um, just over 3,500 megabytes a second on the read and uh, just under 2,300 megabytes a second on the right if you do put those two 25 gig ports in there on that single card that we, uh, we offer as an optional accessory. Uh, moving on to a different option, so this one's probably um, one of our better selling units. So this is our TS-873A, um, really good system performance. This one has an AMD Ryzen CPU in there, so the um, really, really fast for doing anything for uh, virtualization applications, whole media, things like that, really good NAS for that. Uh, jumping into the specs, um, so it's an AMD Ryzen 4 core 8 thread at 2.2 gigahertz. Uh, we supply it with 8 gig of RAM, but you can go all the way up to 64 gig, and it does support ECC uh, RAM as well. So if you wanted that 64 gig to be ECC, you can choose that uh, from our optional accessories. Now, with those two PCIe slots in the back, we do support PCIe graphics cards as well. So if you wanted to put in um, some extra additional um, power there for doing your, say, hardware transcoding with Plex or anything, you've got the capability. Uh, two 2.5 gig LAN ports. Um, again, you can expand on that with the two PCI Express slots if you wanted to make it even faster. Uh, we've got the M.2 PCIe Gen 3 slots, so dedicated SSD bays again. So this 8 bay is a bit like a 10 bay with the two extra bays hidden internally. They're not counted in the total. Uh, and the uh, two PCIe slots on the back are quite capable at Gen 3 by 4. Uh, so nice and fast, capable for 10 gig cards, things like that. Really good. Um, this one's a little less on the power consumption at 54 watts. So very capable NAS um, to for any application that you would need. Now we put this one in the SMB mid-range category. Um, like the previous NAS, it supports both QTS and QUTS Hero. It does support entry-level NVIDIA cards as well. So if you've got um, a graphics card that you want to put in there, we do have a compatibility list for ones that will work. Um, it's not just necessarily ones that will work, it's also ones that will physically fit. Um, the PCIe slots are not infinitely sized, so you've got the different options for different cards in the back. Um, that uh, graphics card that you add in, you can pass it straight through to a virtual machine if you wanted, or a container, um, or you can just use it uh, with the NAS OS um, to help Plex do hardware transcoding. 
Um, you can host containerized applications, lots of different virtual machines on this NAS, very, very capable unit to do that with the uh, the eight threads on that CPU. It's very, very powerful to use for any application that you can think of. Um, and with those PCIe slots, you can add lots of extra functionality, whether it's 10 gig ports, drives for caching, um, extra USB ports, wireless networking, even fiber channel. We've got options for all of them on, on this NAS. Uh, the max performance is just under 2300 megabytes a second on the read with the two 10 gig ports um, and just over 800 megabytes a second on the write. Again, those numbers are from the dual 10 gig uh, ports um, being, being installed. Without those, it would be a bit less than that. Um, so now we're going to move right up to sort of one of the top of the range units that we've got here. Now this one has a couple of options with it, which we'll get to. Um, this is our Thunderbolt 4 NAS. So at the end of the part number, you see a big letter T. Um, so any NAS of ours that have the big T at the end generally means it's got Thunderbolt in it. Uh, we would say this is more designed for creators, small studios, things like that. It's uh, with the Thunderbolt connection, people that need very, very fast direct access to the NAS. Um, so here we go through the specifications and you can see at the top there we've got some different choices with both the, uh, the RAM and the processor. Um, so the first choice is an Intel Core i9 that has 16 cores and 24 threads. Um, or you can switch to a Core i7 with 12 cores and 20 threads. The i9 is already maxed out with 64 gig of RAM. Uh, the i7 comes with 32 gig of RAM but you can up it to 64 gig if you need to. Um, it does have Intel UHD graphics on these processors, so if you wanted to use hardware transcoding for Plex or anything like that, you've got the option there with that. Um, and that does also bring along a HDMI um, output on the back as well. Uh, there are two Thunderbolt 4 ports. You can probably see those on the back of the NAS in the uh, bottom PCI Express slot there at the top left corner. Um, and it's also got two 2.5 gig LAN ports as well as on all the other NAS. They do scale down to 1 gig if you need it. Um, the PCIe um, slots in the back, as well as the M.2 slots on the motherboard, um, are Gen 4. Um, so the M.2s are Gen 4 by 4. Um, the uh, PCIe slots themselves, there's uh, two different speeds um, depending on which slot you're using. So I think the top ones are Gen 4 by 16. Uh, the bottom one's a bit slower. Um, because of the um, power of this NAS, it can use up to 104 watts uh, fully populated. Now that number will change depending on whether you go for the Core i9 or the Core i7, but um, a very, very powerful NAS. Um, use cases, so this would be our SMB Thunderbolt, or you could say SMB very high end as well. Um, so this would be uh, QUTS Hero as standard, uh, but you can change it to QTS if you want to, so it does work with both. You've got two Thunderbolt 4 Type-C ports um, on the back, so great for connectivity to a Mac if you're doing video editing or anything like that. It is upgradable to 25 gigs, so with those PCI Express slots in the back, you can add really fast networking to it as well. Um, and with that built-in GPU, um, it will accelerate anything for transcoding video, um, really anything that you can think of, even outputting CCTV footage to a screen um, with the uh, HDMI port it comes with. Um, now the max performance out of um, all the NAS we talked about in the 4 bay video or this video, um, this one's on another level with the performance. So this one's just under 6,000 megabytes a second um, on the, uh, the performance there. So if you've got two 25 gig ports in there, it is able to do some colossal numbers, um, just under 4,000 megabytes a second on the right as well. Um, so a very, very powerful NAS. Um, if we move on to the comparison like I did in the 4 bay, we've got the three NAS listed there. Um, I have put the uh, multiple CPU options there for the uh, TVS H874T on the right as well. Um, so you can see all the different options that we've got there. Um, but these three very capable 8-bay NAS, uh, depending on your application, um, all very powerful, very capable, uh, whatever you need it to do. Um, if anybody has any questions on any of these NAS, please do let us know in the comments section down below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Bye.